What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic opening. Yes guys, we have, you see it before you, all kinds of crazy stuff and that's not all we're going to be opening. We're also, not only are we going to be opening, that by the way, that is a first edition Dragons of Legend pack. That's a first edition Dragons of Legend 2 pack. This is a Montage Dragon tin with not one, but two first edition the Duelist Genesis Packs, Chance at the Ghost Rare Stardust. We have 24 First Edition Battles of Legend Armageddon Packs. And not only that, but we have a Labyrinth of Nightmare EN Pack. We've got a reprint, Dark Crisis. We've got a movie pack, Duelist Pack, Astro Phoenix, First Edition Force of the Breaker, First Edition Enemy of Justice, Will We Pull a Clock Tower, First Edition Lost Millennium, First Edition Lost Millennium, and the three European First Edition tournament packs all of these are going to be opened in this video guys yes insane we're opening so much yeah i took a day off yesterday no video yesterday so i figured you know what today we're gonna to go big we're gonna have some fire hopefully we will pull something insane chances to pull like tomb kingdom ghost rare stardust ultimate rare stardust labyrinth of might nightmare cards you know a first edition lost millennium we could pull a mech chaser out of tournament bag you know we can pull 10k dragon, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be crazy, so make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. We are pushing for 18,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Tournament Pack 2, English, non-European. Well, actually, I don't think they had European in Tournament Pack 2, actually. But yeah, so it's just regular potential morphing jar. We're going to be opening those up. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome, so make sure you subscribe for that. And then the 20k special, of course, is going to be absolutely insane, like $10,000 worth of products. It's going to be awesome. So here we go. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards, a Gemini Elf. Yeah, one of you guys requested I show all the cards, so there you go. From Invasion of Chaos Special Edition. That is a Metal Raiders Karibo. And a first edition Dark Ruler Hades from LOD. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from all of these openings, guys. So we're getting really close to 18k, so hit the subscribe button if you're not. A lot of you guys, check this out, are watching but are not subscribed. So if you are one of those people and you enjoy the content, Please subscribe. All right, let's get into it. Okay, let's start this off with a nice Battles of Legend Armageddon. And let's see if we can pull a 10K dragon. You know how it goes, guys. We're just searching for that big hit, that 10,000 dragon. And obviously, Chaos and Bird Dragon. Utopia, of course, is going to be a great hit. It is way cheaper than 10K dragon, but I've never pulled it. So that would be equally as good for me. Okay. Yeah, and obviously, guys, when we open those Duelist Genesis packs... We're going to be praying that we pull the epicness of the Ghost Rare Stardust. Yeah, so for the... I'm not going to go too many of these in a row, but I'm going to get... Because there are more of these, so I'm going to do a lot of these kind of at first. Okay, what should we do first out of here? Let, let's be thinking about that. I'm thinking we go with maybe Enemy of Justice. By the way, if you guys have not seen me open Enemy of Justice, I have done quite a bit of it. Oh, wow! Chaos Emperor Dragon. Check it out. That is a good start to this video. Chaos Emperor Dragon, the Dragon of Armageddon. We have pulled a lot of these because we've opened so many boxes. But I love this card. I think it's really awesome. One of my favorite new cards that isn't like super high rarity like Starlight or anything. I think this just looks really good. So that's a nice pull. We'll set that aside with the good pulls. So that's a good sign to hop into. How about Enemy of Justice? We've opened, I opened nine booster boxes of this set. Hobby boxes. If you don't know what hobby or retail is, it's up there in the eye. Yeah, because a lot of people do not know, but... Open Hobby Boxes, they're the ones with the chance at Ultra Ultis. If you don't know what that is, make sure you check out the video I just pointed out. But yeah, and we didn't pull anything good, basically. It was it was rough. We pulled Clock Tower every video. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, Oversoul. Macrocosmos is a good common, so that's actually good. And a Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, okay. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon, I used to have an ulti PSA 10 at one point. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so nothing out of the first um, older school pack. By the way, these first edition Dragons of Legend packs, the uh, oh, Numeron Network back-to-back -back nice packs. The This one has the chance that the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. If you guys saw the 10k special, you guys remember when we pulled that. Also, the Dragons of Legend 2 has Toon Kingdom. So there's just insanity in those packs. There's a nice Sunya. So, so far, we're having pretty good luck with Battles of Legend. Let's go into a Dark Crisis. This is a Dark Crisis um unlimited or reprint pack so here we go let's see if we can pull something cool here battle scar these battle scars archfiend soldier i used to have this in my deck this was a solid 1900 attacker 
that you could get out of Dark Crisis. It's just a rare instead of like an ultra rare like Luster Dragon or a secret rare like Gemini Elf. So that's pretty cool to pull that card. Just a rare, but really cool. Okay. Yeah, naturally, guys. I know I'm still on the hunt for 10k dragon. I can't help it. There we go. Fire Flint Lady. It's just an addiction at this point. I have all these boxes laying around. I'm like, why not open them? Why not see if we can get the 10k dragon? I really shouldn't open them because they're worth a lot more sealed. Madolce and Jelly, nice. But people open so much Battles of Legend, like they're just everywhere. Whew. All right, here we go. There's a nice Utopia the Lightning. Heart Earth Dra Chaos Dragon. We love that card. Okay, let's go into. Let's try Lost Millennium because we have two of them. We do have three of those tournament packs, so I need to try one of those soon. Our, oh, wow. Good start. We already have Elemental Hero Avian. Okay, here we go. Minefield Eruption. Spark Man. Oh, it went straight to it. Card of Sanctity. That's a super rare. Okay, so we did get two of the Elemental Heroes right there. Card of Sanctity. Let's see if we got another one. Okay, no more Elemental Heroes. We did get a King of the Skull Servants. That's pretty sweet. Let's leave up our super rare. Pretty nice. That's a really cool um, ultimate. Yeah, so if it was a hobby box, you could get an ultimate of that card, but you can't in a retail box. And I'm guessing these are retail packs. There we go. I'm probably going to set those commons aside. Those are nice commons. Okay. Let's do another Battles of a Legend Armageddon. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. There we go. We got a Numeron wall. And don't forget to use my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links. All you guys out there using those are clutch because that definitely, that I literally, I get the money from there and I get more stuff for the channel and it is very clutch. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. So having a little bit of extra money from you guys using that link, especially when since it costs you guys nothing, you guys already are, if you're already going to be buying a TCG Player and you use it, it's just so clutch. So thank you guys who are doing that. A few of you guys have told me that you've been. And I've been seeing it, so that's pretty nice. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to what we're here for, 10K Dragon and others. Okay, let's go to this Duelist pack. Actually, no, 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 we said we'd do a tournament pack. All right, these should not be open, probably, but why not? First season of tournament pack. Oh my goodness, come on, here we go. These are European, so they're worth a little bit less than the regular. But... Still pretty cool. Maybe we can pull a Mechanical Chaser. If we pull that, that'd be absolutely insane. Wow, Warrior. He plays World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's funny. Corroden Shark. The Statue of Easter Island. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at those. They're, they're, they feel a lot different than the regular North American print. So I'm going to set these aside. because or I'm going to put them in their own sleeve. Because they are Tournament Pack 1. While they are Euro, so they're worth a little bit less... Still European and Tournament Pack 1. So pretty cool. Pretty cool to open those up. I've never actually done it. Wait. Oh, I just confused myself. Artifact Ignition. Secret Rare. We're on a little bit of a dry spell for Battles of Legend. That's okay. That is okay. We had we had a great box already with Network and Chaos Emperor Dragon. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. Okay. I'm thinking next we do uh, Duelist Pack Astro Phoenix. Danger Jackalope. Okay. Let's go to that Duelist Pack Astro Phoenix and see what's going to happen here. I really don't know what's in this pack, but it'll be fun. Whoa. Okay. Calm down there. Oh, man. What's going on? There we go. Guard Penalty. Destiny Hero Dasher. Oh, Fear Monger. That is in... Was that in CPO6, I think? Okay. Give us the luck. The 10K Dragon... Can it be done twice? Nope. Now, Hard Earth Dragon can be done about a hundred times, though. All right, next pack. Give us some fire. Run a little bit of a cold streak here. Nothing. Let's switch it up and go with the movie pack. Can we pull the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon? There's only four different cards in here. Wadapon, Pyramid of Light, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, and Magician. No. And Dark... No. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Why are they all the exact same? Okay. Shonen Jump should be behind this. Can we get the blue eyes shining? Wadapon. This is probably the worst one, to be honest. But that's cool. It's always fun to open the movie pack, even though... Oh, pretty good condition. 
even though it has the same, you know, four cards. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Miracle Rupture, that's a nice card. All right, let's go with another tournament pack. Let's go into tournament pack one. Let's see if we can pull the fire. Okay, this one's not ripping so well. Give us fire. Shining Friendship, classic. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number two. That's really cool. And a Corroding Shark. Three more commons. That's usually how it goes with tournament packs. Even getting rares is pretty tough, so... Nice commons there in the tournament pack. Okay. Continuing on. So far, we've had decent pulls. Our best pull is definitely the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Numeron Calling. Nice card. It has gone down quite a bit since the beginning, but still pretty cool. Okay. Three more Battles of Legend. Are we going to get 10k in this video? Are we ever going to get it again? That's the question. That is the question. Elemental Hero Eskiridao. Two more. And then we get into some more old school packs. Oh, nice. Artifact Sanctum and Neuron Network. Check out the damage. No! Straight out of the box. We got a damaged Neuron Network. It is light play already with that ding. Maybe we can straighten it out a little bit. Oh, that actually looks a lot better. Okay, Artifact Sanctum. Okay, that's a little bit sad, but still a good pull. Alright, next and final pack. Last chance at 10k in this video. Medulce Angeli. That was actually an extremely good box. We got a lot of good cards there. Okay. We've got all of these. Let's go into Dragons of Legend 2. Let's do this and try and pull a Toon Kingdom. There's a, And then uh, some of the other Toon cards in here are actually worth like 20 bucks. The Toon cards just went up like crazy. I opened a booster box of this on my channel. Check that out. It was like right before the LOB video got super popular. So I had like a thousand subs. So it was a lot less than now. But it was pretty sweet. Aquarium set. Toon briefcase is actually worth a little bit, I think. Aquarium lighting and goddess bow. Okay, that's not one of the good ones. Unfortunately, no Toon Kingdom. We're going to sleep this up though. It's worth a couple bucks. First edition, Dragons of Legend 2. Okay, let's go into... The Lost Millennium. While it is probably a retail pack, you can still get Ancient Gear Beast in an ulti. You can still get Ancient Gear Golem in Ultra. Um, let's see what we can do. Okay, I don't like how these do this. Let's see if we can pull more. Wow, what just happened? Sparkman. Wow, that, those do not stay around together very well. Okay, we got Royal Sword and a Sparkman, which is pretty cool. Sparkman is nice, even as a common. Okay. Let's go, let's do the Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is an EN pack. It should be. That's what one of you guys told me. So we're going to see. It does have the banners like it is. So I just ripped the pack wrapper. Great. Okay, there we go. St. Joan. Oh, it is not EN. Okay, so they must have been uh, incorrect about that. These are super slick. These are probably from the, uh, from the blisters. With, um, these are from the blisters with Tactical Evolution. Lady Salem of Flames, Emperor Mantis, Spirit of the Flames, Infinite Cards, actually a good common, or a good rare. Jam Defender is a really cool common. It's a Hollow and Retro Pack 2, I think, which is pretty cool. We're going to sleeve this up. I think it's actually worth like a dollar, so that's pretty good. All right, so, um, yeah, no, no Hollow there. That's okay. All right, next, let's go Force of the Breaker. We still have the 10 left, guys, and we still have Dragons of Legend. We also have Tournament Pack. We got some crazy stuff left. Let's see if we can pull something good. Mass Hypnosis. Meru Cow, Master of Barriers. Crystal Blessing. Hard Selling Zombie. Go Go the Gallant Ninja. And a Ruby Carbuncle. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's go into the Tournament Pack. Maybe we can get at least a rare would be good. Maybe we can get a rare. That's our goal here, because hollows are 1 in 18. That's super difficult to pull out of three cards. So here we go. 118 packs, so pretty pretty low. The Judgment Hand, one of my favorites. Oslo Hero, and... Oh, we did get one. Versago the Destroyer. Rare card. Let's sleeve that up on its own. Versago the Destroyer. That's a pretty good rare pull. 
Pulling a hollow is almost like it's impossible <laughs> out of tournament pack. It's really hard to do. Unless you've like scaled the packs is like the only way. Okay. Dragons of Legend. Let's go into the Dragons of Legend. Then we'll go right into the Montage Dragon 10. That's going to be insane. Can we pull a Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight? We've already pulled one. Can we do it again? Check that out. Awesome. Let's see if we can pull the fire. Lily Bot. First card. Shadow Impulse. Number C106, Giant Red Hand. Gar Guardian Yatos. And here we go. Black Sonic Secret Rare. I don't know anything about this one, so I don't think it's too good. Okay, guys. We're going into the Montage Dragon 10. You can get some absolutely fire stuff. Look at these packs. Two First Edition Duelist Genesis. Phantom Darkness. Two Light of Destruction. Talk about a stacked lineup, guys. Stacked lineup. So we're going to need some fire. Our pulls have been okay. They were really good out of Battles of Legend. They weren't too good out of anything else. So it's pretty much coming down to the Montage Dragon 10 to really take this video off. Give us some absolute fire. Here we go. There it is. We broke the seal on the tin. Hopefully our promo is not damaged. Okay. Montage Dragon. Let's check this thing out. Still just sitting out there with nothing protecting it. Back looks pretty good though. This one looks pretty nice. Montage Dragon. That's a really cool card. Boom. Super sweet. Triple headed beast. And then here we get into the clutchness. First edition Duelist Genesis. We got two of those. Two Light of Destruction Unlimbs and a Phantom Darkness. This is going to be crazy, guys. And then we got uh, these like tokens, I think. So we're just going to put those back in there. Put this tin back together. This one doesn't have a window, though, which is a little bit sad. Windows are very clutch to, search, to see the tin card. Okay, obviously, those are going last. Those are extremely expensive packs. Let's go into a Light of Destruction to start off, and then we will do Phantom Darkness. Okay. Light of Destruction, there are so many good cards. You know, Ghost Honest, there's Judgment Dragon, all that stuff. It's going to be crazy if we pull anything like that. So here we go. Space Gift, Cross Porter, Sanguine Swamp, Short Circuit, and Froggy Force Field. Okay, Arcana Call, and Interplanetary Invader A. First pack, Dud. But that's kind of what we expect from uh, Tins. All right. Sometimes we have pulled fire from tins, though, like errors and misprints and stuff. Okay. Dark World, Grimuir, Imprisoned Queen Archfiend, Instant Neospace, Sea Koala. What do we want from Phantom Darkness? Dark Arm Dragon, obviously. Dark Nephthys, Ultra Rare. Okay. That's pretty good. That's a pretty sweet card. Check that out. Ultra Rare. I will take that. That is pretty awesome. Ultra Rare pull out of a tin is always good. Because you're not guaranteed that stuff. One more light of destruction, then we get into the crazy packs. The first edition of Duelist Genesis. Can we pull something big? Summon. What is this? Limit. Good start. That's a good common. Set that aside in our good pile. Space Gift. Cross Porter. Sanguine Swamp. And Destruction Jammer Rare. We got a Golden Bamboo Sword. That's pretty good. Lucky chance. Okay, so pretty good commons out of the pa out of that pack, but nothing too crazy in the hollow spot. Whew, guys, the Duelist Genesis First Edition. Potential like over $5,000 card in here. If you get the Stardust Dragon and Ghost, if it grades a 10, the chances are about zero to pull it and then about negative zero to get a 10. But yeah, it would be crazy. So here we go. Ghost Gardener. Space Gate. Telekinetic Shocker. Your Town. Grapple Blocker Rare, okay. Junk Barrage and Remote Revenge. Oh, nothing in the first one. So that leaves us down to the final pack of Duelist Genesis, guys. Give us some luck. Here we go. Can we do it? Can we pull? do the unthinkable and pull a Stardust? I would lose it. All right, Silent Strider. Hit the like button for luck, guys. We need the luck to pull a Ghost. Space Gate. Ghost Gardener, is that a sign? Noisy Gnat. 
Come on, guys. Oh, Desynchro. I think these might be European packs. They're super glossy. And Destructotron. Ah, okay, nothing out of those first edition Duels Genesis, but fortunately we did get an Ultra Rare, so that's good. And our um, promo is in nice shape. So actually, not too bad of a 10. I've gone over 5 with the damage promo before, so this feels better than that. Overall, pretty decent video. We didn't have any insane pulls this time. We did pull the Chaos Emperor Dragon. But more epic videos to come. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button, guys. We were almost 18k for the epic TP2 opening. Yes. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>